A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes. No questions except one. Deal or no deal? Deal or No Deal, the show that offers tens of thousands of pounds and even a quarter of a million pounds up for grabs. The show that can turn a player into a gambler, as we saw yesterday, when Maydee turned down £28,000 with a chance to win £100,000 and actually went away with the smallest amount of money so far. Let that be a warning to all of you. We have 22 different sums of money, from 1p through to £250,000 on our game board. Each of these amounts is in one of these 22 sealed boxes. So, 22 different amounts of money, 22 boxes. And, as always, nobody knows which amount is in which box. One of our players is about to come and join me here for the chance to prove whether they are a player or a gambler. And just by trusting their instincts, they could win a fortune. Let's find out who is going to be today's player. Do you have the courage? Do you have the timing? It's... Jan. Jan, please come and join me. Hi, welcome. Hi. Welcome. Oh. Jan Thompson from Newcastle. Uh, Co-owns a bakery with husband Ian. Yeah, small craft bakery here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your bakery actually makes Newcastle brown ale bread. Yes, we do. That is fantastic. Do you sell that by draft? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we don't. We is that it... popular? Yeah, very popular. We started to make it in 1987 and it's, well, it's just keeps regen regenerating. It's getting more and more popular. Fantastic. Actually, yeah. This bakery is your own business. Yes, it is. Uh, how long has it been running? My in-laws started it in 1956 when my husband was five years old. So he's really grown up in the business. Okay. And we've so been married since '73. So I've been in the business with him since then. So you know the ups and downs in business. Yes. You know the fact that if you want to make something, you've got to take a risk, etc. Do you take risks in life in general? Yes, we have to. Um, uh, as an employer, when you employ someone, um, you might get a new... So the brown new bread was a big project because um, we got an offer from a, a massive um, store to supply them and the logistics of that from a very small bakery. We took that gamble and you're just constantly weighing the pros and cons. Sometimes you're right and sometimes you're not. And you've just summed up this game. Mm. I wish you all possible success with this, Jan. In this box here is a sum of money, but you don't know what's there, no. I don't know, and the banker doesn't know either. To start with, I must get you to confirm officially you chose that box at random. Yes, I did. The independent adjudicator sealed your box. He sealed the other boxes as well. He's the only person who knows where the money is. What we're going to do is go through all of these boxes. You will open them in turn. We will chart your progress on the game board. Every time you open one, we remove it from there. After the first five boxes are open, as you know, that's when we get the phone call yes. from the banker. And depending upon how well you do in those first five, if you can take out just low numbers, you will get a really good opening offer. Yeah. And that tends to set the gameplay, as we've seen. Get a strong opening offer, and you get strength going through the next few rounds. Jan, let's start the game with your first selection. Box number two. Box number two. Eddie, uh, nice and low. In fact, I want the next five to be really low. We haven't had five low ones in the first round for a while, so, Eddie, make it low. I hope it is low. £500. <laughs> 
And this show, we call that love. Next one. 14, please, Rob. Box number 14. Rob, open box 14. Thousand pounds. Don't keep climbing. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't keep climbing. OK, another low one. I'm going to do a Dillis and have my house number, please, number 17. OK, Andy, box 17. Think blue, John. Yeah, keep blue. it low. 250 pounds. <laughs> Best beginning we've had for a long time. Two more to go. Then the bankers call. Elaine, can I have number 19, please? Elaine, would you be so good as to open box number 19? 750. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Boy, oh boy. That's neat and tidy. You've taken out the entire centre section there. That is marvellous. One more. Going. One more. And he has to make an attractive offer. Well, I'm going to trust the other Elaine and have my birthday number 12, please. Birthday number 12. Elaine, please do not spoil this incredibly positive start. I'll do my best. Elaine, okay. keep it low. Open 12. 75,000. Oh. Don't think you heard me, Elaine. Sorry. Well, it's OK. What's OK about that? That seems to me to be a fair amount of money. It is, but there's other larger amounts there. There's still some decent amounts below it. Yep. The bank has got to be looking at the fact that you've got a whole block on the left-hand side from £100 downwards, which you can play with. You can open those in the next three, if you choose to go on. But maybe he's about to make you an offer that says, I'm off, I'm out of here. Yeah, well, it's the best offer he can make, and uh, I want to accept it. I will accept it. But I don't think it'll be enough to do what I want to do. What do you want to do? I've got a sports car to buy to do track days at Silverstone. Really? Well, I've nearly got the money for it, so I need the rest of the money now. I think that is fantastic. <laughs> you made me jump. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm fine, thank you. How are you today? Oh, you had a little uncomfortable moment and then the 75 went and you're feeling better. <laughs> Excellent. Doesn't know what to make of you. He says, until today, he didn't even notice you were here. Well, just tell him to take notice now, Noel, because I am here. It's all that matters. Take notice now. <laughs> He's offering for that box now £2,100. What do you think? It'll not get me what I want. Mm hmm. And I think he's being a little bit mean. Mm hmm. But he is mean, isn't he? I mean, we've seen that he's mean. £2,100, deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> OK, we're now down to three. It's easy from here on in. You just do three every time, avoid the big numbers, and then the deals go up. So it's dead easy from now on, OK? Set a good lap time with the next three boxes. <laughs> Jane, please, number three. Jane, number three. Your hands on top of the box, Jane. Are you feeling anything in that box? Can you keep it low for us? I'm wanting this to be really low for Jan. Yep, good. Ready? That'll do us. Jane, open the box. Jan, I hope. 50p. <laughs> 10p, 1p, 50p. That is really, really good. Come on, take out a few more of the uh, the lower ones. OK, Kai, number eight, please. Number eight, Kai. Ah, actually, Kai is the spooky one. He really has been brilliant at predicting. Kai, what do you think you got there? Um, I think it's, it's going to have a few zeros, but not too many. A few zeros, but not too many. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're such a cautious new mum, yes. you are. Open box number eight. Five thousand. <laughs> All right. You spot on again. Five thousand. OK. The two big ones are still there. It is absolutely vital you don't touch them. Keep it over on the left-hand side, and we're going into a deal with you in the driving seat. Number five, please, Karen. Number five, Karen. I'm due a bluey. I've not had a bluey yet. <laughs> You're due a bluey. <laughs> I am. Phrase-making again. <laughs> Don't open the box. We're taking a break. Well done. Well done. Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. This is an interesting one. This is a little difficult to call because everything was going incredibly positively and then you took that 75, yeah. which did alter things. You turned down an opening banker's offer of 2,100. We're at the third box in your second round. Vital, if we're going to get the offer up, that this is not one of the big numbers. Absolutely vital. As I say, keep the 100,000 keep the quarter of a million and you keep the attention of the banker. You keep the game on your side. Open box number five. Thank you. 35,000. <laughs> yeah, that gets a mixed reaction. People don't know whether to applaud or whether to groan. Mm. Uh, it's a huge amount of money to throw away, but hopefully it's going to be irrelevant because you're going to hold on to the 50, the 100 and the 250. And as we proved last week, the longer the 250 stays there, the higher the offers are going to come. And even if you don't hook it in the end, you will get yourself a big offer. Do you have a sum of money in mind that, that you would be very happy to go away with today? 20 would be good. 20,000 would be fantastic. 20,000 yeah. would meet your motoring ambitions. Well, then I could do a Flyway Grand Prix as well. Excellent. Do you think it's going to be a bigger offer from the banker? Significantly bigger. It's going to be bigger. I don't know if it'll be significantly bigger. But he could afford another couple of grand, couldn't he? I've got a funny feeling he doesn't know how to sum you up, actually. <laughs> I think your style is probably unsettling him okay. more than let's we appreciate. Let's hope so. Hello. <laughs> yeah. He's pointing out he can afford uh, a couple of hundred thousand more if necessary. Good. Yeah. Excellent. I'll have that. Yes, she'll have that. That was fairly predictable. Um... Hmm. Ooh. 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 <laughs> he's gone up. Has he? And he's gone up. Oh. Seven thousand five hundred pounds. He's offering your box right now. Sounds good, doesn't it? Remember, it could contain one P. Yes, it could. But I've got a lot of blues up there. And I've got a lot of low-value reds, reasonably low-value reds. Turn it down. Say no deal and you have to go on. You have to open That's three. Fine. If you take out 50,000, 100,000 and the quarter of a million with your next three boxes, seven and a half thousand pounds is going to seem like a Grand Prix jackpot. It is. Jan, 7,500 pounds is real money for a box that could contain one P. Deal or no deal? No deal. There we go. There we go. Okay. I like this. I really like this. You're starting to move from that player to gambler area. The next three, all important. Sammy, number one, please. Sam, box number one. Please. Yeah, it's low. It's low. Yeah? For you, Jan. Yeah. I'll make it low. Good. Good. Where you go. Five yes. pounds. <laughs> Next one. Very good. Next 
one. Come on, let's keep the energy going. Mally, number 13. Number 13. Mally, please open that box. Ten <laughs> Thank you. This is good. This is good. You're going to push the dealer's offer up. The banker, the banker has to offer more money. You're pushing him up all the time. You've got yourself into a strong position. You now can't take out both of the highest numbers, but it would be bliss if they were there by the time he calls. What's it going to be? Lee. Lee. Please. Oh, flinched. Yeah. Bad vibes? I think there's a huge amount in here. Huge amount? Yeah. I, I hope you're wrong. Open the box, it better be low. Good luck, darling. 20,000! Yeah, that's all right. That's OK. Yeah. That's OK. Thank you for being wrong, Lee. It wasn't one of the whoppers. <laughs> it's still a huge amount of money. I can't believe how quickly I'm sucked into a game where we just actually throw £20,000 away and pretend it's inconsequential. But in terms of the gameplay, in terms of the impact on the banker's thinking, you can afford to throw twenty thousand yeah. pounds out of the window. Yeah, I can. Because I've still got more on the board there. The longer you can keep fifty thousand, a hundred thousand, and a quarter of a million on the board, it means they're out there somewhere. You've got the banker's full attention. Hello. No, you didn't honestly <coughs> think she would take seven and a half grand. You knew she wasn't going to go for that. Oh, OK, all right. Oh, yeah, she's going to take this seriously, I'm quite certain. Ooh. For that box, for you to go now, the banker is offering you real money, £13,300. It's good. Um, could have been better. Still not as much as I would like there's those all those flyaway grand prix just calling me um there's five blues and there's substantial amounts more than he's just offered me and i think um i don't even think it's a gamble i think it's a calculated risk <sighs> whatever i choose to do I think you've made your mind up. I think I've made my mind up, yes. I know I've made my mind up. I know what I want to do. One last time. Remember, it's £13,300 for this box. That box. Think about the sums of money behind me that could actually be in this box. Yeah. That are considerably lower than £13,300. Yeah. But there can only be one of them in there. All, all of the five lower ones can't be in there. There can only be one of them. And there's a lot of higher numbers left on the board. Calculated risk. Yeah, definitely. Not gambling. £13,300, Jan. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> there. Take a big slug. Yeah, halfway there. And nothing has changed in terms of the gameplay that you must now adopt. Stay away from the big numbers down there. Hey. Away you go. John, ten please. 
John? You OK? Afternoon. Yes. Have we uh, lit any candles today? Church was closed. That's what happened to Maddie yesterday. Oh, right. OK. But it didn't go against him, actually. Not in terms of your own box. John, would you open box number 10, please? Yes. £3,000! Perfect. Pick off. With the next two boxes, pick off a couple of the blues, and this is going to be a fantastic offer from Raj. the banker. Raj, please, number nine. Raj, open box number nine. 10,000! Absolutely, absolutely critical because you cannot take both of those out. And if you could stay away from both of them, this is going to get really exciting. What's the third one? Number four, please, Jennifer. Number four. Open box number four, Jennifer. Good luck, Jane. Thank you. One yeah! four! Could not have been better. This is going to be <coughs> a massive offer. It has to be because the 50,000 is somewhere in the game still. The 100,000 is still in gameplay. The quarter of a million could be here. Got a horrible feeling this offer could take you into gambling territory. Ooh. What will be will be. Hello. Mm-hmm. There are such huge amounts left on the board yeah. that the banker is saying this is going to be a very, very serious offer. And I think it's probably a good idea to join us after the break. Oh. Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. This is Jan. She's playing brilliantly. She still has 100,000, 250,000, 50,000 on the board. And the last offer from the banker was 13,300, and she turned it... I'm just explaining everything. And she turned it down. And we're now waiting to find out what the banker is going to offer at this stage. Sorry for the delay. Go on. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Good. Whoa, whoa. £24,900. To go now, for that box now. Say it again, Noel. It sounded really good. <laughs> £24,900 because a quarter of a million is still here. 100000 is still here. Without those two, if it was just the 50, you would be nowhere near 24900 Worth remembering, because if you go on, you have to open three more boxes, take out the two big ones, 24900 straight down. Could I have a word with my cowardly friend over there, please? <laughs> no, Jane. Come on, Len, I love you. Come on, what are you going to do? Well, I love you anyway. I know. <laughs> the, odds, the odds are evens. You've got a really good shot. And your cowardly friend says no deal. No deal? Yeah. Just for that, wasn't it? <laughs> now, for people who have joined us a little late, <laughs> Len glories in the fact that he has a big yellow streak and, <laughs> and for Len to go, no deal, is quite amazing. Very surprising, yeah. <laughs> Lee. I thought the, I thought the offer is... Is, is tight. I thought it would have been a hell of a lot bigger than that. 
I think he's trying to, to tempt you with a bit lower to try and get you to play on. It is, it is evens. And I think you've, you've just got to think about how much your dream's going to cost, because I don't know how much your dream's going to cost. And if you're confident, take it. If you're not, crack on. Okay. Johnny. Have you got any wise words for me, please? Well, me, personally, I would play on. Mm -hmm. High maintenance, but your choice. I did see um, that 20, that the 20 would be good. Yes. And I'm looking at those numbers there, as, uh, it is evens, and I have made a decision. Made a decision already? I have, yeah. I think, from what I can remember of the extraordinary events of the last couple of weeks, I think that this is the strongest game board we've had at this stage. Would you agree? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Nobody has been this strong at this stage. £24,900 <coughs> is comfortably above the figure that you said you'd be happy to go away with. True. So that, to me, seems to be a driving, focusing factor. <laughs> On the other hand, no other player has been sitting there at this time with a board that strong. At £24,900, Jan, deal or no deal? Breaks are on, Noel. I'm going to take the money, so it's a deal. That is the way. That is the way to play it. That is the way to play it. Can you just Absolutely. Let's just focus. Let's just focus on that. We're all still getting over Maidy turning from a player to the ace gambler. You have to respect the fact you came with a target. You came with an ambition. You described to us exactly what the money would do for you. You've exceeded it by a very nice factor, and yes. you're happy. Yes, I am. And the rest of us are left wondering whether or not that was the duffest deal... I don't care. ..that I anyone care. has ever done <laughs> in the history care. of the world. Because this is where it all changes. OK. The 24,900 is safe. That is money for you. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Somewhat uh, perversely, we're now looking for you to get the big numbers okay. to validate your deal. Go for it. Lisa, <clears throat> 21, please. Lisa, box 21. Want it to be huge, absolutely ginormous. Go. 50 pounds. That would have been a fabulous start if you decided to carry on. Next one. Len, 16, please. 16. Len, we want this to be big to make her feel good. Open it. Ten pounds. Oh. Have you dealt so soon that you've thrown away the best opportunity we've had in the history of the game? Go on. Third one. Audrey, please. Number 11. <clears throat> Audrey, I've got a horrible feeling this could be low as well, but we want to see it large. Audrey, would you please open box 11? you feel better. That makes you feel a lot better, because at this point, the banker would have thought to himself, that's great, there's not a quarter of a million in 20. There's not a quarter of a million out there influencing what's going on. But he would still have to be worried by the 100,000 that he's sitting there. Would he be so worried that the offer would have been more than £24,900? I'm sure it would have been. This is the offer this is genuine, that would have come to you at this stage if you had not said deal. Right, yeah. Yes. £18,100. At that point... <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. It felt like it was all going horribly, horribly wrong. Actually, you did deal at the right time 
But did you? Because if you'd gone on at this point, okay. this is what would have happened. Next one. 18, please. 18. And remember, we want to get the 100,000. Otherwise, you could be seriously disappointed. If the 100,000 remains with one other figure, the pound or whatever, the offer would have gone up again by a <clears throat> huge margin. Open it, please. 50,000. The 50,000 would have gone, but in some respects, totally irrelevant, because yeah. all eyes are on the 100,000. The banker is wanting to know where the 100,000 is, and we would have, at this point, have wanted you to avoid it, but now we want you to hit it. Where is it? Trevor, please, 22. Trevor, would you open box 22? Have you got the 100,000? I hope so. 100 pounds. The 100,000 could be in your box. I think it is. You might have been looking at it all along. I think it's there. But... And you said, this is the lucky box, yeah. the box with form. Yeah. But it was a calculated risk. I haven't got a problem about that. <laughs> I haven't got a problem. You're the one with the problem. I haven't got a problem. <laughs> I haven't got a problem. No, I'm, I'm happy. Right, come I'm on, happy. we want to see where the 100,000 is. Next one. Ah, uh, seven, please. Box seven. This is the absolutely crucial one. We'll be down to the last two. What would have happened? Rita, open box seven. 15,000. 15,000. Had you not dealt... Had you not dealt when you did, we would have been at an excruciating point. 24,900, he went down to around about 18,000. If the 100,000 had still been either there or there, this is the offer that you would have been given. Thank you. At this point, because the 100,000 could be in there, and somewhat worryingly, you said all along you think it is in there, despite the fact that you've gone at 24,900, he would have offered you, for that box, 48 thousand pounds almost double what you've gone for but you're always about a calculated risk I was and what I... I'm fascinated to know is whether spookily you've been following the progress of box 20 over the weeks you picked box 20 and you always said it would have a lot of money in it and that actually it doesn't have a quid in it that you are right this is a great moment the deal is safe. Did you deal two occasions too soon? And are you absolutely right that all along you had 100,000? Yeah! Wow! On the one hand, on the one hand, you were completely wrong. You didn't yeah. have a significant sum of money in there. On the other hand, you were totally right. You managed to sell one pound for twenty-four thousand nine hundred pounds. <laughs> that's a deal. Is that loud about the calculated risk? <laughs> Brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Fantastic. That's my little parcel. Absolutely fantastic. And I think huge congratulations to you, Jan. You set your stall out, you set your ambitions, you did it, £24,900. And she's not bothered by the fact that she actually could have taken £48,000. She's happy, and I believe she did the right thing. This game is all about feeling good, timing and self-confidence. I hope you'll join me at 4.15 tomorrow when once again I'll ask that question. Deal or no deal? <laughs>